How to listen to your bookkeeper. That is a very important topic. My name is Tineke Rense from Powerful Business Academy and I help business women to scale and grow their business and double their income within a year, guaranteed. Now the past year it has happened to me a couple of times, three times to be uh, exact, that I had a call with uh, a woman with a substantial business, she's already doing pretty well, and <clears throat> she reached out to me because she wanted to grow her business. And during the call, she could really see and feel where things were heading to. And like I said, this happened a couple of times. So when I say she, it's not a specific person, it's any of those three. And then they go and decide to talk to their bookkeeper, which is of course a sensible thing to do. You pay your bookkeeper to protect you from making decisions. You pay your bookkeeper to do the math, to do all the calculations, to do the forecasts. What happened after the call with the bookkeeper is that they got scared because it was quite a big financial pressure on their business. And the bookkeeper, it's his duty to protect uh, a business, uh, to protect people from making mistakes, and I'm not saying that it would, be, would have been a mistake. So that's what they do. But what they also do at that time is they plant a seed of fear. And fear is scarcity. And, and this happened three times that they make a decision that they cannot work with me. Although during the call, and I'm never pressuring or pushing anybody, during the call, they completely saw what potential they had, where their business uh, could go to, and they were aligned with that energy and with that feeling and with that abundance. And, um, which, is how, which is how it is. And when I work with women, miracles happen and magic happens. And yes, we work on the strategic side, which is masculine, but we also work on the abundance side, which is feminine. And as soon as you start to talk to your bookkeeper, the masculine kicks in, the scarcity kicks in, and that creates more scarcity. It's, uh, the, the universe is giving you exactly what you vibrate to. When you vibrate lack, when you vibrate scarcity, when you think or feel you cannot pay, when you are afraid of feeling the stress and anxiety when uh, my bills are coming or that you cannot afford to pay it, that's exactly what will happen. Now, what these women forget is when we start working, usually after one month, they start to make more money. So they are judging, they are making a decision on the current situation. So that's again, looking for scarcity, tuning in to scarcity and lack, which is not bringing in abundance. And it's, it's normal that this happens. I understand why this happens, because the whole business world is tuned in to masculine behavior, results, focus, strategy, planning. And I'm not saying they're not necessary. Yes, they are, because purely from energy, you cannot build a business. You, you can create lots of opportunities, you can create lots of manifestations, if you're not smart enough to know how to monetize them, not much is going to change. So, so that's the beauty, ladies. Having your strategic planning, masculine focus, uh, numbers, connecting with your divine feminine energy, your heart and soul desire. It's your duty to scale and grow your business because more people can benefit from what you have to offer. I wanted to teach this I wanted to teach this lesson today because it 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 was very actual this morning for me and I understand where it's coming from because I have been in that position for 30 years uh it's it's only daunted on me for the past year how much I have been creating but also how much I've been creating scarcity and lack 
and it actually happened last week. Last week I did 20k in five days and part of me could not believe it, which is immediately creating scarcity and immediately things start to shift. And this morning I was biking to my office again and I really wanted to feel the abundance and the trust and, the, and everything that is possible. And as soon as I entered the office, I had a phone call of a past client and she came up with something which is not what I offer, but I, I immediately realized how much I could serve her uh, with, with what she was asking. And we, we, we created a new thing, a new product uh, on the phone. And she's, going, she's now checking um, what her availability is. It, this came out of nothing because I was in an abundant state this morning and not focusing on my numbers and not focusing on the lack and the scarcity because other people are in doubt. So it's really, really important to have people around you who are abundant. Um, so yeah, again, I wanted to teach this lesson because I think it's a huge lesson. Um, the women, I, I don't I know from one of them that she didn't grow and scale her business the way she wanted uh, the other I, other two I don't know when you, when you feel an uh, uh, in alignment when you it's it's trust trust that you can do it opportunities don't come when you are not the right person and when you're not at the right place at the time to actualize them the universe will not send them to you so please, yes, your bookkeeper is important, definitely. But don't rely on, solely on someone who is from outside your business, who does not feel what you feel, and who is making you scared. So bye-bye for now. I invite you to schedule a quick 15-minute call with me to see if I can help you. And that's only a qualification call. It's only me finding out who you are and giving you some tips and tricks. Uh, there's, I can't sell you anything in 15 minutes, it's too short. So don't worry about that. And then we can see if we want to continue the conversation. So bye bye for now. Don't forget to check into our YouTube channel where we will have all these uh, weekly videos and in one place. Bye.